Right, going back to the group of Palace aides who have named themselves the Sussex Survivors Club. In Extracts of Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown by Valentine Lowe, it describes deteriorating relationships with a succession of decent people who believed in Meghan and who would have done anything to help the couple succeed. Yeah, that's very easy to say, you know, after the fact. Some recollections may vary. But all we ever wanted to do was make a success of our roles in the monarchy, you know? And just be happy raising our family and, you know? But it just wasn't possible, you know? Some people made sure that was not possible. Oh, it's funny you mentioned that because you are flatly contradicted on that specific point. Look, I think everyone needs to just calm down and eat some fruit. I don't know how that point is going to be contradictable. <laughs> oh no, sweetie. Contradictable is not a word, my dumpling. Actually, it is. Uh, please don't contradict me. Uh, what the staff say is, Megan, allegedly. Allegedly. The things they say, allegedly. The games they play, allegedly. That the mistake they made was believing that you wanted to be happy in the first place. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> what are they? Dummies. You know, idiots. Cognitively compared. You know, I think they need to get QI tests. Well, what they claim is that the institution itself was always going to be judged on Meghan's happiness. Uh, they claim that you wanted to be rejected and that you were obsessed with this narrative from the beginning. Ridiculous. Absurd. Preposterous. Although. Uh, ridiculous. Absurd. Preposterous. We were undermined, shortchanged, uh, mocked, probably, uh, plotted against, you know? It was a very difficult time, very difficult time. Well, I'll admit, Megan, when I first saw you get married, I was convinced that the only future you saw, the only one you were interested in, was the one where you were racially abused by the royal family and that you were determined to get there one way or another. I can't believe you'd think that. Yes, but that was only before I got to know you and learned what a kind, humble person you are. Remember, I'm as communist as they come. I wouldn't get any work otherwise. Ah, good, good. The bottom line is, they fed me on scraps, right? They didn't want me rising above every other member of the royal family by being a bright, shining light. They thought that we should just be living on the basics, you know? Right? Like, don't worry, all they need is the, the bare necessities. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. Yeah, man. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam, I couldn't be fonder of my big home. The bees are buzzing in the trees, make some honey just for me. If you look under the rocks and plants and take a glance at the fancy ants, then maybe try a few. You eat ants? You better believe it, kid. The bare necessities of life will come to you. Look, don't ask me how it's done, but apparently you can click a like button or something, even a subscribe button. Rumour has it there's a notification bell and a sharing option. I've got no idea how to do it, but if you can work it out, I'd really appreciate it.